Montreal. At this time of year, the Canadian city creates a fairy tale world for its younger inhabitants. The children's summer zoo is transformed into a fascinating North Pole setting. 18,000 colored lights shimmer in the trees of the Garden of Wonders. It's a setting enough to gladden the hearts of children and those who haven't forgotten what it's like to be young. The nativity scene brings home the message of Christmas. But for many people this year, home is a place they must not visit. So over to Dublin. The Christmas lights of home for all Irish folk exiled in a bid to avert the spread of foot and mouth to their mother country. It's as beautiful by night as by day in O'Connell Street. In London, the heart of the city, Piccadilly Circus, was gayer than ever. It was also the starting place for a pathy news race against time. A relay race in which the lights of London, Brussels and New York were all to be filmed in the same evening. A feat made possible by the time difference between the three cities. A pathy news film magazine was to be the link between the three countries, each adding its own contribution to the film in the same magazine as it arrived. This was Regent Street on that evening. Shoppers took their time making Christmas choices. There was plenty to choose from, but little time for us. There was still a lot to see and film. Trafalgar Square with its tall annual gift from Norway. Before the night was out, our film magazine had more than 3,000 miles to go. Away from London's carol singers, over the channel to Brussels, and then across the Atlantic to New York. The lights of London's Christmas tree was the last scene to be filmed before the magazine was unclipped, handed to a dispatch rider, and rushed to the airport and the Brussels-bound plane. As the airliner taxied in at Brussels, a Belgian cameraman was waiting to play his part in the relay race. Only time for a brief glimpse of the Belgian capital. The big transatlantic jet was almost ready for its long haul west. So our Belgian colleague worked swiftly to add these scenes. The magazine changed hands again. Now it was in the keeping of the Boeing pilot for its journey across the Atlantic. So far we were on schedule. Seven hours later, but only two according to the Brussels clock, an American newsreel cameraman was filming the New York Christmas lights. Broadway, Times Square, the glittering skyscraper city of New York had got that yuletide magic. Three cities, three nations with one Christmas spirit. All brought together by Pathé News and jet travel in one evening. Time and distance take on a new meaning when the lights of Christmas shine to be shared by so many. <laughs>